today we have Matchbox 2023 Mix 9. And we're going to get right into it because I'm behind. Um, <laughs> yeah, so pretty, in terms of new content, this is a pretty small mix. Everything from Mix 8 carried over, all the new stuff from Mix 8 carried over into Mix 9. And Mix 9 gave us six new releases, two new castings within those six new releases. And uh, I've got five of them here. I did not get the Chevy, like the 1930 Chevy Coupe. I have the blue variant. That's probably the only one I'm going to keep. But the brown one was not too bad. That's it. it was brown in this mix. It's not too bad. But we're going to start here with the Volkswagen EV4. Or I thought they called it the ID4. But it seems like they refused to put that badge on here. The previously i think on the base yeah the electric vehicle four i think it's the id4 the matchbox packaging's a little out of date but whatever that might be like the concept name it debuted last year as a brand new model in blue and now it gets a recolor in this really nice metallic red you get really nice headlight details, Volkswagen badge, all your black trim and grill details up front. You have this gray piece around is actually part of the base. Or no. No. I'm trying to. Oh, so it goes up and around. Okay, so there's two different gray pieces the base and then the interior. Because that's not part of the base. Is that its own thing? The interior looks black. It could be gray. Huh. Interesting. We have your black trim on the rear here. Very nice looking taillights. Actually, yeah, the headlights and the taillights in this model are really crispy. I really like how this model came out. And it also has the silver trim up on the window arches here. Yeah, they did awesome with this model. The only thing is, like, the roof is all plastic, and you can see that bar going through there. Nah, it's okay. They've been doing this plastic roof thing on a couple models lately. It's not... I'm not too crazy about it, but it's it's what it is. It's, it is what it is. There is your ID4. Next up, we got an awesome recolor of the Audi TT RS Coupe. Unfortunately, following the news that the Audi is putting the RSTT or the, the the Audi TT out of production for 2024, right? Quite unfortunate. It has been a pretty iconic car from the brand, but I guess the only way it's gonna live on is through people who upkeep. The current ones, and then through video games and diecast, like this beautiful green. Wow, that's amazing. That's a great color for a one dollar model. You got the tinted five spokes. I really like that on there. You got headlights. You got your grills, which sometimes they're flat black, sometimes they're gloss. They seem to be glossy on this one. I think they're flat black on the black one to make them stand out. And maybe the blue one. Got tail lights, Audi TT RS on the rear, and that is all she writes back there. It's a little off, but it's not terrible. Not Hot Wheels <laughs> terrible, at least. Yeah, really nice finish on this one, actually. I wonder if they have like a little dusting of clear coat on there. Because that's a really nice finish. And there's your base. This debuted, well, I can always get a sense from the base, 2021 in red. It's released, oh no, it debuted in blue in 2021 as a new model. 2022, it was red. Then there was the five pack version in black. And then we got this version. I might be missing one, but I don't know. Can't remember. Can't remember. There's the green. I know, I never... 
follow the parking lot lines here. That that will change soon. And then we have the 1984 Toyota MR2. Very much a fan favorite casting from Matchbox. It will any Toyota is gonna be only because we went so long without them. And this one, the, the teal green one, I think is still the best, but this is a close second with this metallic blue. This is just an amazing color. Wow. I got the headlights up, right-hand drive on this one. I didn't bother grabbing all the variants. I, I only really did that for the first release. That's going to be a lot to, to, to handle with the rest of them. MR2 on the back here, tail lights and marker lights and all that, and the black trim. Very simple. This one gets the same decal prints as all the other ones. You got Toyota and your MR2 badge on the front. Of course, it does. It should get some... Well, Matchbox will never do it from the factory, but I would like to paint those. You got the six-spoke wheels that they always give it. Yeah, very clean. Very clean and love the MR2. Now our two new models. We get another Australian vehicle. It's been a while, but well, I guess the Hilux, I guess, counts because that one's Australian spec. We get the Holden VF Commodore SSV in the Australian Police Highway Patrol livery. Very iconic when you think of Australian police vehicles. This livery always comes to mind. There are a couple other ones, like they did on the the BMW police car as a five-pack exclusive. That was either earlier this year or late last year. Or the nine-pack exclusive, my bad. Get really nice headlight details here. You got your Holden badge, your SSVP on the plate. And this one does get flat black grills. This is... Uh, this was sold as the Chevy SS in America. And then a Holden in Japan. I think they might have called it a Voxhold at one point as well. You get the five spoke rims. You got the 321 <laughs> number, a unit 321. Highway Patrol, we honor, we serve, keeping SA safe. Police. And then that. I don't know if this is actually licensed, it doesn't have like a location on there. But, yeah, tail lights, they, they half ass the tail lights like they do on the Explorer. I mean, they didn't miss much unless they continue on to the trunk. This, oh, they, they do. You can kind of see the silhouette there. This has a very thick coat of paint on it, or maybe the details aren't as profound in the back of it. Either way, it's still a pretty nice casting, though. And it's nice to see another sedan join the Matchbox lineup, let alone an Australian sedan. I can't wait to see what other versions they do of this model. I really want a red one like this. Do a red one like this, but with the black multi-spokes or possibly even the tinted ones. That would look amazing. Look amazing. With some black, flat black trim on it. And now I think the star of this case in terms of new models, the Mercedes-Benz AMG SL63. With some interesting new wheels that we'll talk about here in a second. So, yeah, you know, well, let's take a look at the new casting. This is really well done casting and it's quite small. It's pretty much the size of the MR2, which is nice because it's not a large car in real life. Do get really nice headlight details. You got your grills down there which are actually part of the base that poke through that's nice instead of them just being flat painted the mercedes bill grill looks really good we got the mercedes badge right up there on the bumper there's your side profile with your rims so the rims are actually painted black it's hard to tell but they are painted black they're not just raw plastic like the tires tail lights look good lots of nice little shade details in there Mercedes AMG on the plate, SL63. There's your interior. It is a drop-top convertible. And now the wheels. Now they're not 
terrible in person. You know, it's going to take a little bit to get used to because we're not used to new wheels from Matchbox. It's been a while, actually. I think the last ones were those off-road ones that they debuted on the hard body. And, well, and then, of course, they do get the new premium wheels, but the premium wheels are based on the mainline wheels. So they kind of just look like the mainline wheels, so they're not that off-putting as these. They can because these wheels are so shallow, like, see these, like, look at how deep the spokes are in there. Of course, you got the brake disc in the middle, but then the spokes actually go a lot deeper, or, like, the, the air passage through there. They're not completely hollow, but it gives it the illusion. These, I mean, it's just flat back there. And I think it's just because it's such a low-profile wheel, that just makes it look kind of chintzy, and it makes it look like, like those fast lane wheels, or possibly real toy wheels that would have been available at like the Toys R Us years ago. But I don't know. Maybe it's just because it's all black. I mean, it does have black paint on there, which kind of helps. And maybe once we see them in silver, it will be a little bit bearable. But yeah. Otherwise, not too bad. I like the rim design itself. It's just the way it was handled on the wheel here. They could have made it a little deeper of a recess, you know what I'm saying, between the spokes. I do like the rim design though, it's really good and it's really Mercedes-like and they did talk about producing wheels that were exclusive to a certain car brand. I thought it was going to be Mazda at first because of the issues they had with the Mazda 3, but maybe it's these and these are only going to be used on Mercedes, so I guess only time will tell. Or maybe they scratched that completely, who knows. But there is your new models for the case and your three amazing recolors. And there you have it guys. That is Mix 9 for 2023, and I'll be showcasing Mix 10 pretty soon, which is an amazing mix. So uh, I'll see you all in the next one, guys. Take care, everybody. Let me know what you think. See you all. Bye.